Hello friends, this is Sam Cheney reporting for WeaponizedNews.com. Today is April 20th, 2017. World War III update. Drudge Report heightened alert as North Korea readies Army celebration. Nuke sniffer emergency mission. China bombers on high alert. Let's take a look at the headlines. South Korea on heightened alert as isolated North readies for Army celebration. And this is out of Reuters. It appears that North Korea is readying for a nuclear test. Chinese are moving around a lot of military equipment, bombers, etc. Donald Trump praised Chinese efforts to rein in the menace of North Korea. North Korean State media warned the United States of super mighty preemptive strike. Donald Trump, President of the United States, said some very unusual moves have been made over the last two or three hours. But the Department of Defense officials said it was hard to tell what exactly is going on. U.S. sends nuclear sniffer plane to Korea. The U.S. Air Force dispatched a nuclear sniffer Air Force plane Thursday to the east of the Korean Peninsula amid the possibility of North Korea's testing a nuclear weapon. Here's a picture of that nuke sniffer plane, the Air Force's WC-135. U.S. official with eye on North Korea. China puts bombers on high alert. Again, possible nuclear tests happening. Don mess with us. North Korea threatens to turn the U.S. to ashes with a super mighty preemptive strike in latest war of words. State media launched the broadside as the ongoing tensions between Pyongyang and Washington, D.C. drags on. Of course, there's a picture of Kim Jong-un, dictator of North Korea. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom where they also say, again, North Korea state media announced that it will reduce America to ashes, also adding, don't mess with us. Continuing, North Korea submarine missile program advances. North Korea is making rapid progress on developing submarine-launched ballistic missiles and missile-firing submarines, according to a report by a United Nations panel of experts. Vlad, Korea move. Russia moves troops, helicopters, and armored vehicles to its border with North Korea as Putin braces for war. Footage allegedly shows a massive military military mobilization of Russian troops about 11 miles from its border with North Korea. Some of that video. You can see massive military movements there, helicopters, tanks, other military armament. Russia's President Vladimir Putin is reinforcing his border with North Korea by relocating troops and equipment, according to reports. The move comes as Donald Trump's naval armada prepares to head to the Korean Peninsula. Things are heating up between the United States, North Korea, China, and Russia. Let's pray for peace. 
risk of accidental nuclear war growing, UN Research Group says. The warning comes as the Pentagon begins an extensive review of its nuclear arsenal. And they go in here to talk about how automation, a greater reliance on automated systems can lead to misplaced confidence while introducing new points of vulnerability. And they go on to talk about clouded clouded battle space. Intelligence coming from satellites combined with sensors on drones and data from other sources as well as including new perhaps unproven technologies to detect to detect missile launches and the pictures become more and more clouded and murky. It's a very tense situation right now. Again, one thing goes wrong, something accidentally happens, drones collide with each other, military aircraft collide with each other, a misfire happens between China, Russia, the United States, all coalescing around North Korea. It's very troubling, disturbing times. We need to continue to pay, pray for peace and hope that this is just saber rattling and hope that cooler heads will prevail. Pray that China can make North Korea back down from its nuclear ambitions and stop threatening to turn the United States into ashes with a super mighty preemptive strike. I don't know how much more of this the United States can take. But the United States has said, intelligence experts have said, and military experts have said that North Korea does not have the capability of reaching the continental United States with any type of nuclear weapon, although they could possibly launch a nuclear missile from a submarine, possibly hit Japan, definitely hit South Korea, possibly hit Hawaii. So tensions are increasing. Again, let's pray for peace. Let's hope that this is just a bunch of saber rattling, war propaganda, and that cooler heads will prevail. Do your own research about World War III, the different scenarios that can kick it off. Prepare, subscribe to this channel, speak out, and take action.